guys welcome back to my channel I am in a little bit of a different background right now I'm currently at college and so that's why it's a little bit different but today I'm going to be talking about the new Jeffree Star concealer and powder so as many of you probably know Jeffree Star came out with a new concealer powder little set thing and I wanted to try it so what I'm gonna be doing is kind of reviewing this a little bit but also comparing it to the Tarte Shape Tape. So I thought that would be a super interesting video just to kind of see how they compare because this is such an amazing concealer, such a fan favorite that I thought it would be great to compare. Now, I have really high expectations for this because I feel like as beauty gurus, they know what they're talking about, they know what they like in a product, um, they know like all the things that should and shouldn't, like it shouldn't crease, it shouldn't all that stuff. So if you want to know a little bit more about all of the ins and outs of the concealer and powder, I will link Jeffrey's video down below. But yeah, so I'm just going to be comparing um, each eye and then I'm also going to be doing the Laura Mercier and then the Jeffree Star powder because that's what I normally do. I'm just going to be doing them on my bare skin as I would normally. Um, I normally typically don't wear foundation every day. So they're just going to be going on my bare skin and then we're going to see how they look throughout the day and compare them. So let's get started. Okay, so I just want to talk about a little bit about the packaging real quick. Um, here is what the box looks like and I was super, super impressed with the inside packaging. So this is what it looks like and they are all wrapped up in here and then there's even more packaging or like padding down here. So it was extremely padded and um, I was just really impressed by that, like a lot of tissue paper. So these are what the two boxes look like. So I got the Fair Setting Powder and then I got C7 in the Liquid Concealer. Now I was going to get C5 when I was looking online, um, that looked like the shade that was going to match me best, but that was actually the one that he got stolen from his warehouse so there was a super limited amount of them and I wasn't able to get one. But I'm actually really glad that I got C7 because it matches me a lot better. So, um, let's zoom in. Just to start off a little bit about this concealer, um, it has this elegant packaging. And then, so this applicator is a doe foot of sorts, but what makes it so unique is that it has a little crevice inside of it that keeps the, found the concealer, like, in there. So... You can see it coming out when I do this, but it has so much concealer in here that, I mean, it's insane. So it stores a lot, so you're not going to need to go keep dipping back and forth and all over. Like, that is still from just one swipe in there, which I think is crazy. Now, let's compare it to the... Tarte applicator. So the Tarte applicator, I don't know if this happens with everyone, but my like around the rim gets really messy. Um, and it kind of just like gets everywhere. So this is the Tarte applicator. It is a very thick doe foot as well. And this one I feel like almost holds a little bit too much. As you can see, this one holds a lot of product on it but like not in a good way so a lot of times I have to um, kind of just wipe it off um, so that is that and here I'll do a side by side so you can kind of see the size difference size difference as you can see the Tarte Shape Tape one is a little bit bigger a little bit thicker um, but I'm really excited to see how this one performs so I'm going to start with the Jeffree Star on the side and the Tarte Shape Tape on this side. And like I said, I'm in C7 in Jeffree Star and Light Neutral in Shape Tape. And they're a little bit of a different color, but I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender to blend them both in because that's just what I normally do. So I'm just gonna go, sorry, I'm using the viewfinder as my mirror. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna go down here and across here. And then up on my forehead, I normally do some right under here and then here and I normally take um, this up the front of my under my eye halfway like into my nose area so I'm just gonna blend this okay 
So that is the Jeffree Star side out. We're gonna do the Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. Go here, 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 and here. Now I will mention that it was easier to get the Jeffree Star one um, in here because the um, because um, the applicator is a little bit more pointed, so it was easier to get those um, right up under the uh, lash line. Okay, so now here are the two compared right after application. So as you can see, they don't look a whole lot different. The thing that I'm noticing the most about under my eyes, I almost feel like the shape tape has a little bit more coverage. Um, you can kind of still see like dark circles right here and like you can kind of still see them here too, but I feel like they're a little bit less noticeable on the sharp, whoa, tart shape tape side. Um, let me go grab an up close mirror. So I did add a second coat um, to the Jeffree Star side just because I did feel like it was a little bit more sheer than the um, Tarte Shape Tape, which Tarte Shape Tape is known for being super, super, super full coverage. But other than that, when I'm looking at it, I really can't tell a big difference. I do feel like this one, the Jeffree Star one, um, is a little bit more tacky still and um, something that he mentioned in his video is that you know, you don't have to set immediately um, because there's not, um, like it's not gonna dry down into your creases super quickly because I do feel like this one is already dry basically. So that is definitely a plus because I under eyes crease a lot. Um, so that is that so far. Um, now we're gonna get into the powder. The powder shade I got is Fair and I am just going to, so it has this little like turntable inside and okay, so the smell. It smells like cotton candy. It smells like really good. It smells like cotton candy, but not like fake cotton candy. Like it smells like good, real cotton candy. And I will say it's like a fairly strong scent and you can smell it when it's on your skin especially since I put like powder like right under my nose I can smell it um but it's not it doesn't last so like you put it on but then it goes away so I'm gonna take my beauty blender so you guys back in and I'm going to set that and I'm just gonna put this everywhere that I put my concealer that is one thing that I have noticed a little bit is it's a very dusty powder. Um, it kind of, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to pick up on this, but when you put it on, especially if you're putting it on with a brush, puffs off your face more than the Laura Mercier does. So I'm going to let that sit under my eyes for a second and go into the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and this one has like no smell really it just kind of smells like um makeup I'm gonna go under my eyes with this one and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see but in the lids when you go in with a damp beauty blender the Laura Mercier one tends to kind of like clump together, but then the Jeffree Star one kind of stays in, wonderful, I just filled up all of my legs, in a more of a powder form. So I think that is really interesting. So I think that will be better for setting just because this one kind of like clumps a little bit, but I am going to put on some more makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that everything has had a couple seconds to sit, I'm just going to dust everything off. Okay, so here 
is the final product. So keep in mind that my um, under eyes kind of have like a natural crease to them. <laughs> um, here is what they look like. So the Jeffree Star and the Tarte. So I really love the Jeffree Star powder. I think that it is a great powder. It feels super silky. Um, the only thing that I will mention, which maybe I just got the wrong shade, but I do feel like it gives off a little bit of a white cast. Um, I'll have to take a picture and test that out, but compared to the um, Le Mercier Translucent Powder, I did notice that it was a little bit whiter. So who knows if that will show up when um, in like a picture or something, but I mean, it's definitely always nice to brighten the under eye. So just looking right now, I am really liking the um, Jeffree Star one just because I feel like it um, disguised my pores a little bit better. Um, it's not, not that the Tarte Shape Tape is exaggerating my pores, but I feel like the Jeffree Star one kind of blended them out a little bit better. I will have to do um, maybe another review with foundation, but today I'm just gonna stick to like what I do normally because this is what I do every day. And if it's impractical, if it doesn't work for every day because well, what's the point? So I'm gonna go throughout my day and I'll check back in with you guys. Okay guys, so I am back. It has been about six hours or so. And I was gonna do like an all day wear test, like wear it until tonight, but I realized that like neither of these claim to be like super extreme long lasting. So I didn't think that that was super fair to do, but I do have my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm gonna do a close up and show you guys um, kind of where we're at. Okay, so I'm sorry that the lighting has changed. It has gotten darker outside. Um, but here is the um, Jeffree Star. And, ooh. And the Tarte Shape Tape. Now, oh, and then like looking at like around my nose and on my forehead and stuff like that. So everything, so everything has stayed in place super well and um, neither of them have creased, but I do have a couple things. So one of them um, is, which is super impressive, is that it was raining outside and my mascara started to run, but you can't tell on either end. I can definitely still feel the powder on this eye. Um, I don't really feel the Laura Mercier um, powder. Now, I don't know if that's because it's like sunken into my skin. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, um, but I definitely like the feeling of the uh, Jeffree Star powder better. So. Wrapping up my final thoughts, I just wanted to give you guys some um, like technicalities. So the um, Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer is 31 colors plus two color correctors. It's $22 and it is 0.115 ounces. Now when you look at these two, you think they're pretty much the same size. I mean, I would say they're about the same size. But Tarte Shape Tape is actually 0.33 ounces, so it's almost double the size, and it's $27. And there are 30 shades of that. And then between the two powders, now I have um, the mini version of the powder, so this is 0.33 ounces of powder, um, and this is 0.35 ounces of powder, but, um, and I believe this is around $20, maybe? I'll have to check, hold on. I'm not sure, I'll insert it here how much this is but their full size is $39 and it is one full ounce. So a lot larger than the um, Jeffree Star one. I should go like this. Than the Jeffree Star one. Um, Jeffree Star one has eight shades. It's $22.35 ounces. Laura Mercier, two shades, $39 and one ounce. So that is that. Um, and that is the cons I think of this. 
I think this is extremely creamy. I really, really love the applicator. Um, I love how much it holds in it without being like super gooey like the Tarte Shape Shape one is. And I love how it can get right in there um, and give you a lot of good product payoff. I don't love that I kind of have to build it up a little bit, but I also, like I said earlier, don't wear a whole lot of makeup on a daily basis. So I don't need like ultra super high coverage. So this is great for like an everyday and it's easily build upable. So if you're looking for something that's kind of both like a lighter, um, like a medium coverage, medium to full, then I would definitely say this is great because some people do feel that the Tarte Shape Tape um, is a little bit too much coverage for them for a day-to-day -day basis. You also really like that it has, so it says on their website that you don't have to set it. Now I obviously, like I said, love using the setting powder, but I really like that you don't have to like immediately set it. Like, so you can set it and, or you can put it on and you don't have to like worry about immediately setting it before it creases. Whereas the Tarte Shape Tape, I feel like a little bit, you have to be a little bit more conscious of setting it quickly so that it won't crease. Packaging is also something that people talk about a lot. Um, it is very high quality packaging. Um, I really like the star on it. It is kind of like, not annoying, but it will be something that's pretty to put like on your dresser, you know? Like sometimes it's like makeup isn't the prettiest, um, but this is something that's really pretty. But I like to stand my concealers up because I do have problems with this one, not leaking, but kind of just getting like gross around the edges. So I try to keep this one standing up. And I've noticed that the bottom of this one kind of has a bevel to it and there is a flat surface on the bottom, but you kind of have to place it down like perfectly or it kind of like wobbles a little bit or it has a tendency to fall over just because the flat surface on the bottom is so small. So that's just something to note. And then, like I said, the powder, I really love the smell. If you are sensitive to smells, you're probably not gonna love it. It is a fairly strong smell, but it's not super overpowering. You can definitely smell it. You can smell it on your skin a little bit, but only for the first like five minutes or so. And that's if you really bake it. But other than that, I really love it. And I do think it smells really good. So those are my final thoughts on the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer and Powder. Compared to the Tarte Shape Tape, you let me know which one you guys like better or which one you think performs better. I would love to hear your feedback down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.